Hi, you beans, and welcome to my 1,000. Oh my god, that that did not sound too good. 1,000 subscriber special video, and um, <laughs> I know this seems uh, overdue. I'm so sorry. I was working, and um, late ASMR is just getting caught up ever since I got sick. But let me tell you, it beans, I am feeling so much better. Yes, I do still have a little cough, but it's wearing off, like, very quickly. So yeah, just a little update and all. Um, also, sorry if you're going to hear any background noises. I am watching TV, but I turned it down a little bit for some sounds because I do not like silence. Anyways, um, this is going to be a Q&A video, and I um, send a little m a message around my community chan on, my, on my channel that you guys can ask me any types of questions and I received some very very interesting questions from you little beans and it kind of seems like you guys want to get to know me a little bit and behind me so um um before we start I like to introduce myself a little bit so you know who I am a little bit so hello konnichiwa ni hao ciao bonjour hola my name is Ali Stitches. I am the voice behind Kurapika, Kilawa, Alois Trancy, Len Kegamine, Juzu Suzia, and many more in this ace that, that I do for anime ASMRs. I am a cosplayer, as you can tell. I also like to draw, and I have a pet cat, and I am a weeaboo goth. <laughs> That's all. I want to say so let us begin the Q&A. The first question comes from Molly Colline. I hope I said that correctly and she asked where are you from? Now this is not really a big surprise but you can tell by my accent I am from the United States of America. America! <laughs> I can't do America's voice but yeah that's where I'm from. The next question actually two questions and it seems kind of silly and this is from Mrs. Kurta Zoldik. The first question is, how old are you, and why are your videos so good? So for that first question, this may be a little shocking, I am actually 20 years old. Yes, I am 20, that may be a little shocking, but don't actually, I'm gonna be turning 21 around August, so yeah, I'm actually 20 and a half. And the second one, why is my video so good? I don't know, I don't think they're great. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, the next question comes from Chihiro VA, and the question is, what is your favorite game? Okay, um, I do play some video games. I think my most favorite video game has to be American McGee's Alice Madness Returns. It is a personal favorite of mine. I absolutely love Alice in Wonderland and the twisted horror and added into it. Ugh, it's, it's a masterpiece. I also enjoy some um, Nintendo games like Mario. I even like some Sonic games and good old Super Smash. So I'm all about the Nintendo. The next one is from Bluebell Sonori, and this comes with three questions. So am I going to go in order? So the first one is, where would you like to spend a vacation if money didn't matter? Okay, that one. I want to go to Disneyland. I mean, that's like the only answer is just Disneyland. Not only Disneyland, but I like to travel around Europe and of course, Japan. The next one is, could you travel back in time? Which era would you choose and why? Okay, now I actually have two choices and there's a reason why. Um, the first one is the 1800s. I like to experience the first ever technology and what it was actually like at that time. I think the first ever filmmaking was actually around the end of the 1800s. And of course the Victorian outfits, especially for the women, which I am completely obsessed. And the 80s of course, because um, my parents were born in the 80s and I'm just so fascinated by that sort of era. And the next one is, which advice would you give to your younger self? Um, I know this is going to seem very cliche, but if I ever traveled to my young teen self, I'd say, try not to envy too much on people, or you would not un understand who 
you're going to be when you grow up. So I just say just be yourself. Sure, you can have a little inspiration from people who you used to look up to. Just try to create your own style. And maybe you'll enjoy it. The next is from Yes I Am. And the first one um, is about um, the reason for me to keep on posting and be consistent. Now, this question, I knew I was going to be asked this, and let's just say I really enjoy doing this, and there is a big backstory on why I enjoy uploading about two days of doing anime ASMRs, is because it's something that I actually enjoy doing, and something I should, let's just say I just want to make others happy and feel more safe. Like, unlike Yagami Yado or Akira Dubs or King Akira or other ASMRs that I listen to, well, used to, it's usually only pushed to the NSFW sort of side, you know, especially the My Hero Academia, I do not want to talk about that. I just feel like, why is it only that? But there's like less purity and less comfort, and all I hear is just moaning and groaning in my ears. Why not like soft? like sweet talking and you know actual comfort from an anime character i thought you know fun fact this was actually supposed to be a joke but now i feel like i should continue doing this because there's so many of you that actually really enjoyed it ever since i uploaded my first ever um asmr and it was one of my biggest insecurities to do because um I used to be really insecure of what I actually enjoy, and anime ASMRs is actually one of them, and of course anime in general. The last one is where you feel like you want to stop doing anime ASMRs. Now there's a few moments that I feel like, should I continue doing this? or? I don't know, but for me, I actually, again, I really enjoy doing these. Like by heart. I want to make many of you smile and feel appreciated by- you know, I know they're anime characters and they don't exist, but I feel like they do have a sort of personality and charm to it. I want to make you all smile and feel safe and show kindness. I understand what's going on in this world, you know, there's still a pandemic happening, American politics that's happening, and I want to push all of that aside and show just respect for all of you listen i go through bad depression and this sort of stuff actually helps me and i want to do the same for you all because i think everyone deserves some positive energy if you ever hear one of my warnings before my anime asmrs it's only for positive energy and just just comfort in general that's all i ever wanted from anyone in this world is just comfort and positive energy. I know that sounded pretty emotional, but <laughs> it's true. Anyways, um, that is pretty much it for this um, video. You beans are more than welcome to ask me any more questions, and maybe I can do a part two on this one. Um, like and subscribe if you actually enjoyed this, and I will be working on more ASMRs possibly this week. So... Have a wonderful day, little beans. Be safe and stay hydrated. And I hope you all have a nice weekend. Have a good day, little beans. 